And I was thinking I might make another moon pool as well, like here for the prawn suit. Because, um... I don't know why I love the, this one we have here. But I was thinking, instead of having just one and then switching out all the time, we have two and just keep the two. Because, I mean, it's going to be much more simpler. We can just go in one room instead of switching them out all the time. And it's going to be quite long and annoying. And, like, yeah, it's, it's it can be doable. I mean, it's not that hard to craft it. We just need the, um, just need two titanium ingots, which is 20, uh, 20 titanium, one lubricant, two lead, which is pretty simple to make. Actually, now that oh, we're here. So let's make the titanium ingot. We got the lithium already. Quickly make the plastic ingot. Halfway done. Boom. And let's go to the Seamoth upgrade, the Seamoth Death Module MK3. Now, how deep is this? Is this plus 900? And I, I didn't really check what the MK2 was. I don't know how deep that would be. But if we can get this, well, the reason why I'm creating this, I don't think it can go higher than MK3, but well, the reason why I'm creating this is for one reason only, and I said this at the beginning of the episode, but uh, the prawn suit is much more faster than anything, and it, I mean, don't know the prawn suit's sick, but I don't really want to jet up every time and instead, and instead I can just look up and just swim. So over the Seamoth, you, you kind of see what I'm saying though, right? So, yeah. Like, you know, we died because the Seamoth couldn't get high enough. 900 meters! So this is the same as the Prawn Suit right now, which is amazing. So we got the M- we got that checked, the Solar Charger. That's not bad. Torpedo. So... I think... I might make that later today, but for now, what we can do now is head into the seam off. Drop me down, thank you. Whoa! That did damage to me. And I guess we can now head up to the Cyclops. We can do a quick turnaround and then head back home, I guess. And then, yeah, we don't. He doesn't even need to charge it. Boom, we're done. So we can actually turn on the lights now. Turn around and truly begin today's episode. So hello guys, this is taking 10 minutes to say this, but yo, what's going on guys? My name is back again to the day with another video of some Nauticraft. Now today we are uh, essentially going down to the Lost River one more time, and this time fully exploring it. Because if you remember last episode, we only checked one area and found out that we had the disease called the Kara, maybe? I think that's what it was called. Uh, this time, hopefully it stays day a bit longer, um, but if it does, we can get in there fairly sufficiently and quickly, and that'll be much more better, because every time we've gone here, it's turn night or anything, you know, and you know how annoying that can be. So let's quickly, we should head down now, and we'll get to a certain area, and then release the, me with the, oh, sorry, sorry, Bird of Fifth, sorry. Oh, he got, he got clapped. Ay ay ay. But yeah, we're essentially making it our way there now. We should be fine if we quickly go down now and then boost. We can make that. Come on, we can make that. No! Hey, we made it. For now. So, if we can quickly check ahead of us can we see the we can't see the ghost of Viper which is good however I'm still going to power down the engine and yeah right that's that done that scared the he oh my god. I can't actually see uh, just the wife now. That's actually a good touch for us. Make it easier. Ooh. Right, so obviously we have the water on us. We do not have food, however, food slows down uh, slower than water, which is good. 
So if we quickly eat all of this, and then use our planter to break this. My lights just flickered in my room. Wait, no. I don't even got lights in my room. Okay, inventory cool. Alright, we're 100, 100. Let's go now. 3, 2, 1, go. Drop me in. Now, we... So, you know how this is going to go? Do you remember the first time we were here? How it started this? We were literally just there. Didn't even know the ghost of the was here. Mad guys, absolutely mad. All right, let's head into the. Oh, I already had it on. Okay. So the first place, which it... I'm gonna say these are like levels. The first area we are going to is this area. Now it was easy as the prawn suit because we were on the floor and nothing could really see us. Now. I know the ghost of Ifen can be found in this sort of area or room, you could say. So I'm going to say we should be good for now. Uh, <laughs> says that dies. But no, we'll be doing energy and everything because come on, we've just made it here and we've already done two. The room I'm worried about is once we get down here, I'll show you guys. Because once we get down here, we'll be completely safe. The room I'm worried about is do you remember where that waterfall was? That waterfall, their waterfall. I honestly thought that was the ghost of Iceland. That scared me too much. But yeah, no, that waterfall, like, my heart just sunk. I was like, no, I'm dead. GG, guys. But no, um, yeah, that waterfall area that we're going to go to today, it's very... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Can you stop chasing me, dude? Thank you. It's got the ghost of Ivan there, and that's what we know. Now, we went over that direction over there this last time. So I guess we could check down here now. I, I, don't, I guess we could. I mean, I don't see why not, but... From this onward, from here onwards, I have no idea where we're going. And we have to stay at a certain height, which is too far down, as we know this will blow up. Now, wow. There's just sea rays here. Or whatever these are. Right, there's just rays. Can we scan this, maybe? Giant proof tree. Damn. That is giant, isn't it? Tree. Let's quickly read up on this. So, a vast tree encountered in a deep cove, and uh, one only one of its kind encountered on the planet. The tree is surrounded by rays grazing on. Do you mind rays? Grazing on pink outer leaves, bark uh, hard, fast, and growing bark. Ghost of the wife and eds. The tree's branches are wrapped around a number of mature and eds belong to species de designed to, to the ghost of wife and. The tree appears to be ancient nesting around the eds were laid where the tree was young and now the branches protect them, grow them in the right position to hatch them. That's the ghost of wife and ed right there. Can we sheep? Can't scan it, but damn, look, they're even in the mist. Uh, it holds the ghost of Wyphon's eggs. So does that mean there's a ghost of Wyphon around here? <laughs> Please no. I just want. Oh shoot! I didn't see that. Do we have the repair tool with us? I believe we do. How much power has it got? 100. That's actually really good. Right, let's quickly repair our seam off. Oh okay. Um, I 
Okay. <laughs> wow, that is pretty deep, doesn't it? Damn, that is massively deep. I see why we need the uh, pool suit thing now. Okay, well remember this is here. This is where it gets really depth into the uh, place. So that's probably plus 1,000 meters down there. Damn. Alright, let's see the other ways now. So, would, if that's the ghost of Viper, would these be ghost sprays? Then, because it's not attacking them, however they do have the disease. It's not attacking them. Maybe they're part of the same family tree, maybe? I don't know. This is weird. But we're making good ground so far, because with the prawn suit, we would have not made it there like that quickly. I don't even with even with the prawn suit, we would have made it, being able to make it down there. But, okay, that's where the statue is. We just went down there, we came from up there. Now, I don't think there's one there, I think that's just the wall being glitched. Shush, okay, I'm trying to investigate. Went down there, and nothing there, I'm presuming. Now up here, as we remember, we did quickly have a little glance. We saw some huge skeletal, like, remains of something. Now, oh my god, that hurt. Good thing I bought the med kit, you know. Some normal limestone crop. Can I go in the mist? Wow, I can. And it takes no damage. High amounts of energy or debris. Oh, damn, the debris just shrunk like massively. Right, now, as we can see, that's where the massive thing is. Can we scan this? No, we cannot. Now we know the ghost of Viper is somewhere around here. We're gonna have to somehow bamboozle it. How? You know, we're just gonna have to give it a bamboozle or something. I, I don't know how we're gonna do this. Can't even see it right now. No, I can't see it. It's quite far actually. I can't even scan this down. Oh, quickly before he sees us. Boom. So we see the ghost of the wife over there. Alright, let's quickly save. Does this lead somewhere? Or is this just like a little area where. No, it's just a little area with. It's coming out of it. This is a huge skeletal remains. No. Ghost Leviathan, tell me that's not a head. Please tell me, Leviathan, that is not a head. Shoot, he's getting really close, isn't he? Gargantual Leviathan. Shoot, look how close the Dwarf Leviathan is. We shouldn't really be doing this. Leave us alone, mate. Let's get in the mist. So you can't come in the mist. Ha ha get my boozle door, boy. Right. We should be fine. Alright, let's read it. I think we can get past... ...the Leviathan somehow. Let's see, um... We need to find where the Gargantual Leviathan was. Ancient Flutter, no, that's not it. 
gargantuan fossil. Damn, that is huge! The fossilized remains of an extinct super, uh, super predator, its sheer size would have prohibited it from entering such an enclosed space, suggesting the geographic, uh, geography of the planet has shifted around it over time. A true apex predator. Dated approximately 3 million years ago, rib cage measurements suggest the creature was eel like in structure. Calculations suggest this was only the front third of the specimen. The remains now support a vibrant microorganism of life, micro, microcosm of life. Note there were a series of precise angular indentations on the ribcage, suggesting a third pipe was taking samples from the specimen previous times. Let's see. Right, so we got... Oh shoot, this place is doing damage to us, isn't it? Yeah, this place is doing damage to us, we gotta go. He's over there. Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't think we'd be able to get away with that, you know. Think about it, all we did was just sit in that mist, which kills us. I was thinking, how is this thing surviving such a thing? Alright, how are we going to get past this ghost of Bifon? Let's see, if he sees us, can we wrap around the thing? I mean, what are we going to do? How are we going to do this? Oi, come over here, mate. There he is. Come on. Can we beat the ghost of life in here? I think we can. We'll just beat the ghost of life in somehow. Yeah, he's not following us. Great, we bamboozled him. <laughs> nice. Yeah, he's not following us. What's that there? Is that that's enough skeletal remains? Damn, I'm, I'm starting to get a lot of lag, guys. This is good, in a way. Wait, what's that? Wait, there's more like mechanical pieces everywhere. My game's really. Oh, these are like lights. Oh shoot, we have the octopus right here. How many are there? Is there any behind me? No, we should be good to scan this, so... An ancient skeleton. Ancient fossilized skeleton. So the skeleton of a million year old Armoured carnivore. Projections uh, suggest this life form would have been larger than any living creature in Channel of the Planet. Sure, this thing here, this thing that looks like it came from Doom, came from that massive. That thing you think is bigger than that massive thing we just saw. No, the oceans of the time would have been very different to support life forms of the size, with more open geography and many more individuals in the Leviathan range. I see. Interesting. I'm not even gonna lie, this thing is huge. I w I'll admit that. This thing is huge, but it's definitely not bigger than the thing we saw. Alright. You go up here. I think that takes it out, 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 uh, us out of the cave, maybe. Alright, there's uh, tables around this way. Oh shoot! There's another one of these areas. 
Do we need the purple tablet for this? Didn't we do? Wait, so you're, te you're, te you're telling me I came all this way, got past the ghost of Ivan and everything. I can't even get in. I'm gonna have to bring like 50 different tablets with me. My lad is insane. Wait, I didn't come from this way. Oh shit, I'm lost. Oh great. I definitely didn't come from this way. And look at my lag! The first time we've had lag in this game. Can we actually go inside the skeleton? Remains. Oh well, we can. Look at. Do you guys see how much lag I'm. Damn. This seems. You what? I will fight you, mate. When I'm as strong as John Cena. Alright, we're gonna get past uh, the Ghost of Life and again. I don't know how we're gonna do this this time because he's ahead of us this time. Okay, where is. Am I going the right way? What? Oh, shoot, you can see it's hot and everything. The Viper, can you help me and tell me where I'm going? I think I'm going this way. Don't go that way. Let's say I go that way. I'm predicting. Where does this way go? I were to go this way, would that just lead me to the point where that cave up uh, to my right came down on? This place is huge. Uh, so, last episode did say continue searching for uh, research of this cure. So maybe if we find a way to get into that area, we can find a way to cure ourselves and then start crafting the that sh rocket ship and get out on this planet. Now how am I going to do this? Where is the Ghost of Iphon? It's over there. Okay, look at it. Oh no, it didn't see me, I'm fine. I'm starting to think, so the Ghost of Iphon, all the... Shoot, it's actually following me. I'm, I'm gonna say this, so the, the Viphon, the Ghost of Viphon, I think they're fairly peaceful themselves. However, if you get too close to them, it's, they, I mean, they're not obviously, they're not obviously peaceful, but don't disturb them or they will kill you, I guess. Okay, so we need to get a purple tablet now. Um, we need to get a purple tablet. When you start finding out how to get a uh, kind of night or whatever it is, I want to scan this. So uh, an amoeboid, because it's always told me to scan it, and I've never been able to do it. And I think it looks kind of like something. So a simple scientific organism found attached to land with high levels of fossilized organic matter. It feeds on the matter until it reaches maturity, at which point it divides to create new, uh, two new genetically identified offspring and the cycle continues. That's pretty cool. So what we've got to do now is we've got to head back up and get more resources, I guess. Oh no, we need to get the purple tablet to find out more information. And then I think I might come back down with the pool suit, maybe? this time so yeah hopefully it's not night time still if it is yeah it's a problem but we can always still fight it can't we so boom um but while I'm down here I want to get still a few more materials I'm gonna look for more nickel ore because as you guys know nickel ore is not really it's not it's not a simple thing to get out that whole journey We've only done one quarter of our power, which is insane, which is half a power cell, if I'm correct. Alright, so we're back up here. I mean, let's just start looking, I guess. 
There's no ghost of life up there this time, which is quite surprising. Watch me jinx myself. So we do need crystallized sulfur. No, you're not kidding me today, are you now? You diamonds, I think that, that might be nickel ore. Nickel ore, yeah. Let's see, a diamonds, always nice. The problem is uh, storage now, doesn't it? Open storage, yeah, there we go. Let's start chucking a lot of resources in there. Um, got a shell output here. What a lovely diamond. Music, ambience, died. Ooh. We do need yet more mana type. That's always nice to see. Right, let's see if there's any more things. So it's currently night time. Let's see what we got. We got quite a bit of crystalline sulfur. We got uh, lithium, we got rubies, magnetite, which we needed. We got nickel ore, everything. Right, let's quickly get. Ha ha take a step back. There, you see the warp over there. Let's quickly check out our storage. We also got. Uh, we got. More crystalline sulfur, diamonds, rubies, more lithium, magnetite, nickel ore. That <laughs> storage is full. Alright, I kinda wanna. What deposit is this? Copper. That's copper. Lead. I might stay in the cave. I'm off the map. How is this? Yeah, can't get in. <laughs> uh, funny, funny, funny. Right, so we got quite a few resources. We got quite a bit of magnetites now, which is greatly needed. Desperately needed, actually. What I might do. Might. Right, I'm gonna head up to the surface. I'm gonna grab a purple tablet and everything. And I'm gonna meet you guys back down in the where we were in the facility. And I think after that, I will end the episode. That will be two videos out, and then tomorrow we will get the MK2 for the prawn suit and head down into the depths which will be exciting so just give me a few minutes and I'll be out he hasn't seen me oh my god he's seen me wow I'm surprised he did see me actually I'm really surprised he saw me, you know. I, I'm not surprised, I'm quite surprised. Now, I'm just, I was, the reason why I started recording now is because you saw those massive bones here. You saw those blue on it? Why was it glowing? So, when I return from this, I might quickly see what it is, and I want to grab some, because I believe that could be cryonite. I don't know what is cryonite. I don't know how you obtain it. So, I mean, it's always worth a guess or a try, I mean, you know what I'm saying? 
Alright, so we're coming up to it now. The only threat here is the octopus thing. However, I'm hoping it should be on the point. Uh, but yo, ah, oh, lad, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh yeah, he's on the left, that's best. I think he's seen it. No, we're fine. We get up here, we can get out of his range of sight, and we'll be perfect. Shoot. Yeah, we, we, we should be fine if my lad doesn't affect us. Stop, lad. Oh my god. Freaking orange tablet, huh? So, so we kind of need to do the Degassi Survivors PDA thing. Because I know that's the only way to get the orange tablet. But uh, it's like I can't find the PDAs on the island. Like, I know they're there. But I need to do more searching, so I might find them all off camera, and then maybe get the orange tablet as well, and then tomorrow we can just explore. Actually, while I'm here, did I even, do you even get something from, so... Yep. So I was just looking for anything. We still need to find PDA three. I might do some research and then type it. Well, where is PDA three? And then on the islands for some water truck. Find it, and yeah, it's just gonna be. Oh, do you know? The wife, where are you? Where's the rest of the wife? There it is. Blue. See, when he's not blue, you can just see his endoskeleton. But you see this blue on the skulls here? Oh, not the skulls, the skeleton. Can you show us, please? I'm trying to do commentary. Yeah, those blues we just passed. Shoot, I was just talking to you. Shoot. You know, when you first see the ghost of life and you think, oh, he's not that big, and then he comes close to you, and then you crap yourself pretty much. Now, what is this blue thing? break it. That's odd. So we need the orange tablet. Um, the islands. It looks like it goes deeper over here, which is odd. We didn't, why don't we look around this way? Maybe there might be an area for the purple tablet after all. Hopefully. Otherwise, I just came it down here with two bubble tablets for nothing. Ryan Lily, okay. This is huge. Huge. Massive. Gigantic. I 
ridiculous. Look how small, like that looks small, the dress of I think, yeah? and then you don't close to it. And when it sees you, and then look when it gets close, look at that. Oh shoot, see me. So we need the orange tablets. Where would the orange tablet be? Because I know you have to do something with the... It's definitely not on the island. I've, I've searched every bit of that island. So where would it be? Boom. So... I'm gonna do research, and then what I'll do is I'll get back to the base as quickly as I can. I'll do a quick turnaround, and swim to, no, dry, oh, that scared me. This music again, I might stick around just for music. I'm gonna get to the top. Oh, this is all nice. It sounds like he's just a voice break or something. <laughs> um, let's see. So, I think we have something above us. Here we go. Sit deep. So, I was going to go get the tablet now, but you see, Scott Spear came out yesterday in Warframe. And let's just say, it's pretty cool. It's a little, pretty cool little event. Um, I like it quite a bit, quite a lot. And Barricade is out in 5, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1, 3 minutes. I have no idea where I'm going. So, yeah. Is this only fun on me? Wait, you're telling me this whole time I could have just went like this. Why did I not think of that? Why did I think of, why did I honestly think? Wait, what? Why did I suddenly start oh whatever? Turn daytime now, which is great as always. <sighs> Let's freaking park it up here. I'm going to take out the sea moss so it can charge somewhere else. But I don't want to lose too much battery in there. Right, let's put the head down. Perfect, thank you. Sea moth. Alright, got the sea moth. Thank you, habitat. Right, so we've done everything now. Everything's looking good. We can actually take out my, actually no, the things we bought, not bought, got from the uh, storage from the Lost River. Take out everything there. I'm going to take the last one little nickel ore, unless I drink the water. Which we should do, but I won't yet. So, let's quickly transfer this to the locker. Transfer all of this in here, and we've run out of space again. <laughs> that locker looks spicy. Just look at that. That is a very spicy locker. 
Uh, how do you make uh, another locker again? Uh, Habitat Builder is already in my inventory. I think I can actually put the locker, like, in here maybe. Because I kind of want to make one more room there. Maybe even there. One more moon pool or something. Uh, yeah, hold on. How do I make a locker? So we need two quartz and... No, one quartz and a titanium. I think we got titanium in here. No, we do not. We have no titanium. Uh, two titanium and a quartz. Okay. Right, so I made another locker, guys, and we have quite a few resources. We've got two nickel ore in here. We've got four magnetite. Um, oh, let's see. So, we've got all of that there. So, we've got two nickel here. Two nickel, nickel there. Two nickel there. <laughs> No, how many nickel, nickel we got in here? We've got one nickel, so that's three nickel in total. The mana type we've got four. We have four diamonds, we've got quite enough of crystalline sulfur. Now, how do I. Right. It's weird, I don't know. I don't know why. I just find this weird. So. Let me just see something. So with the prawn suit, I need to get the death module MK1. Now to make this, we need three nickel ore, two rubies, and a plastil ingot. Now with the plastil ingot, I can make the two rubies easy, and the nickel ore is obviously always easy. As you know, that's hard, uh, but we got it, so it's all good. Um, so we should make this now, I guess. Yeah, go on then. Let's quickly use up all the nickel we made. <laughs> How many rubies was it? It was only one, wasn't it? How many rubies is it? Could you double check? Um, it is two rubies, in fact, and we've only got two in here, which is perfect. I think we should get more rubies next time we go as well. We did see quite a few down there. So, I'm not fill in the water. Uh, we need... So, we got that now. We need plastic and got, we got a three nickel. So do I have any... Okay. If I can get that. Two lithium in here, which is great. Okay. Now we just need titanium, which is another lucky thing that I'm here. You know how we had an issue with titanium before? And I was having a really big issue? Well, luckily for us, this is sort of like the border before you're in a lot of trouble and it's sort of like these are a lot of a little bit. Now obviously you've got some sand drops and everything where but look, I continue swimming down here. Just, just wait for it guys. One. Two, three. There's more everywhere, you know. Excuse me, dude, what's your name? Your name... Your name is... Boom. Plastic ingot being created. Boom. So now, if we run over here real quick, we should be able to craft the... We uh, to MK1. Why can't I make it? Three nickel, of course, I've only got two. <laughs> Okay, now I have the last one that was in my other drawer. Alright, the Prawn Suit Death Module MK1. Let's build this. Oh my god, it's a little, it's a little like, um, oh, what do they call it? It's like that thing from Resident Evil, those little, uh, roll tape things. Okay, let's see. So, oh, and Resident Evil 3 will come out next month, hopefully, uh, for me. Um, obviously it's out now, it's just I can't. It'll be out on my channel then. So let's see, where do I put in the upgrades? Oh. Access upgrades. So already we have this jump jet upgrade. We could add the other one that I did, the Prune Suit Death Module MK1. Equip. The crush death is now 1,300 1, meters. No. Oh my god, it is. Bruh. You're insane. Um, put 
oh yeah, this is then. I might go and cook one of them because it's got like it said it had good fluids, which is interesting. Disinfectant water is the best type of water, so I might take that for the journey. Um, Twelve ounces, six ounces. So this is double what it gives. So it gives forty per time. Pretty good. Remember that. Right. So now let's see. Is there any? No. Let's go back here. Is there any more we, uh, death module we can get the prawn suit itself? So the prawn suit death MK2. Did we just? We just shot the MT1. Yeah, we did. So it can actually go deeper, which is surprising. It can go... I don't know how deep this can go. So we need the MK1, which we just put in. 5 titanium, 2 lithium, all of this is the path from the Kyanite. Where do I get this? Okay, and where do I get polyane lime? Where do I... <laughs> oh, so much stuff we need. But I want this, but I can't find polyane lime or anything. I want the drill arm as well for the prawn suit. I might, off camera, when I go get the orange tablet or try to find it, I might try and get that as well, which is interesting. So, yeah, because we've got one half of it already, we just need the other half now. So, yeah. So, anyway, dudes, if you did enjoy the episode, let me say. <laughs> Please not interrupt me, I'll do my outro. Um, subscribe button, subscribe if you want to, comment down below. And yeah, next episode we'll go to, we'll get the prawns to go into that area we couldn't go. We also might, I'm going to try and get the orange tablet. Can you not interrupt me like this? Please? And why do I, I, I just drank? I'll drink next episode. Uh, but anyway, dudes, yeah. Um, I think next episode will be episode 7. A week. So it'll be some multiple week this week, as you guys may know. Um, this w next episode is the last episode for some multiple week, but I'm not gonna make it the last. I'm gonna try and finish this game, then I'm going to do the thing. I've got a few plans I want to do for the channel, but I'm gonna do a separate video on that, and I'm gonna also do um, a vote on my Insta account. So if you want to join that, it is. Ride Demons, just type in Ride Demons and you'll see it. My one, the picture is a is Zoro, Zoro from One Piece. Zoro, um, it's him with Ride Demons on it. Um, so yeah, shout to Mandalore for information that for me. But anyway, dudes, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.